very quick thing that I've found that's really fun if you want to get unlimited content. Um, you can do it on a phone. If you have a professional camera, you can do it this way. Um, I'm telling everyone because I know 95% are not actually going to do it, so I don't care, um, is record your POV of every call you have. It does one of two. Th- it was. It does one of two things. Okay. One, you are then focused on adding value to the other person, and you don't spend your life having small talk. You know my opinion on small talk. Um, and you have content for literally forever. Because the bottleneck. Like I'll give you an example. I was talking to James yesterday. He was like, "I have eight Zoom calls today." I was like, "Okay, so if you do this strategy, you get two. And I was being really conservative. Two clips from an hour call. You're not going to get two clips. You're not." You're just not. But let's say you do get two, right? That's a month's worth of content posting daily, nearly, right? On its own. He had 16 calls. It's like, okay, you get two clips, you're good for a month. Yeah. It from one day. Yeah. And and you're not doing anything like, oh, I've got to schedule content creation time. You should also do that too. But you don't need to. Just document, it's just document what you're saying. As I said, it has a knock-on effect because you're then going to passively add more value to the person you're talking to. It helps if you run a system like I do, which is where you actually have to look into the lens at the same time, like I do. Uh, you don't have to. You could put your phone here, right? I always do it to the wrong camera. Here, uh, to film you. It does the same thing. Because the reason why I mention that is because people always give me this, well, oh, I don't have the setup that you have. It's like, you don't need it. You, there's other ways around. I do it this way because I have all the shit and it makes my life easier. Yes. But take it, t- take it or leave it. I just...